Hi, Jay Bedford from the Bedford School of Music here, and welcome to your first introductory free get vocal lesson. We're going to cover warm ups in your freebie today. Most people in the industry don't believe warming up with a song is a viable warm up routine, and I'd utterly agree. Um, you need proper exercises. So, we begin with humming and we use the tune of Lean On Me, which I'm sure most of you all know, and hummed, it sounds like this. And now I'll play it a couple of times for you to try it. You're going to rewind that, play it over and over again, try it as many times as you like. And in an actual lesson, I'd be able to give you input as to how you're doing with different things. Humming, obviously, I'm not going to test you on, but I, I would be testing you on whether you're actually warming up or not. Because some people do warm up with a certain song that kind of works for them but you're only half the vocalist until you've warmed up properly. Um, and that leaves you with the, in the position of if you were to perform at a, a special event and you were just performing one song and it was a, a song that's definitely not a warm-up song for you and it's something that requires a lot of vocal power, range, strength, um, a lot of people won't be able to do their best stuff while they're not warmed up. Um, so we'll carry on now and we will turn the humming exercise into a la exercise. And you're just singing the word la. It goes like this. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. la, la. Okay. I'll play it a couple of times for you to have a go. Okay, again you can rewind that and do it as many times as you need as you get to know how you're warming up and what really works for you, you'll do certain things a whole lot more than others. Um, scales. Scales are one of the most important things you can, can learn to do. It will in, increase your range, your pitch. Um, it's things you can practice your vocal techniques on that we'll look at at another occasion. The trick I use to get people who believe they can't sing scales is still based on Lean On Me. We do the first bit in a la fashion, as, as we just did, and then we double the exercise. I'll show you what I mean. La, 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 la. Okay. Most people can get that in a couple of shots. So I'll have I'll play it a few times for you to have a go over. Okay, if you're in an actual lesson with me, we'll often have a bit of fun with that and 
I'll compete with you to see how long you can hold that note at the end. And later when we're doing breathing exercises, we'll um, start looking at how to increase your power in that extent and how to hold notes longer, sing higher, sing better, basically. Okay, so now we're moving <coughs> into a, a hybrid exercise. It's more like a, um, an exercise and a warm-up in one. And we call this Mimis. Um, it's a very, very popular exercise and it works really well. I like to use it before a performance. If I'm playing in a bar somewhere, you know, the bar isn't the coolest place to, to warm up. Running around doing lip flaps or anything amusing in a bar will uh, cause you to be looked at strangely and they might not buy into your music after that. Um, so one way I like to do it, the humming works, it works every time. And then when I'm on, I'll hum on the way to the show and as I'm packing the gear out and setting up speakers, I'll be humming away. And then when I've got my guitar out and I'm about to start sound checking my guitar, I'll use the Mimi exercise. And I can do it to any chord structure really, but we'll give it to you in scalic form at this point. So it sounds like this. Me, 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 ma, ma, ma. And holding the ah uh, sound is very good for the, the vocal cord because it rubs together and that's how it warms up and that's how it makes a sound. Um, and it's shaped like this. So most people think your vocal cords would be open in order to make a sound. They're actually closed because they're rubbing together. Okay. So... I'll do, I'll do a couple of scale, uh, scale for you so that you can practice the memes over the top. So it'll go. So if we're doing a one-on-one -on -one lesson via Skype or video calling, I'll interact with you on that one and tell you how you're getting on actually doing the exercise effectively or not. And the common, most common question is, am I supposed to be going up as I'm singing? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. You're supposed to match the notes. Um, if you're having trouble doing that, we'll start looking at some exercises that will train your ears. Most of what we're already doing will grow your ears anyway. If you've got a reasonable ear, you'll, it'll grow really fast with this. If not, then there's more we can do. More scales is, is always important. Okay, that, that last exercise, the memes can be done lots of different ways. You can, I do it with a chord structure, so I'll just start jamming something to do a sound check and I'll be going something like this. And one of the things about vocal exercises and warm ups is that it won't necessarily be the sound that you will use on stage. I'm obviously not a um, classical singer, but I, I use classical style warm-ups and I grow that part of my voice in order to have more range and power in the rock and blues and country that I like to sing. Um, we'll move on now to an exercise called Bella Signora. Um, again, it's a very popular one and it's more of an exercise that's actually helping you grow into your head range and, and use some power. It does a lot of things and it'll grow with you as an exercise. And it sounds like this. Bella Signora 
and we want you singing from your diaphragm. I'll show you in another exercise, another video, exactly how to do that a bit more. At this stage, you're just getting to know the exercises, and we'll, if you take on some Skype or video lessons, we'll do a whole lot more. Okay. So the Bella Signoras again go up scalically. So we go. Bella Signora, Bella Signora. Okay, so I will play a, a scale for you to practice that over, and you can rewind it as much as you like. scale exercises one I like to do is once you're down with the whole lean on me thing to actually sing scales at all you'll be very surprised once you actually start just doing scales you'll be like okay I can actually do this and they're not actually as hard as they seem even for first time singers it won't take you long okay so how I like to do them is stepwise so I'll be going la, 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 and so on. Um, I will leave you with a few scales just to try all your different exercises over and you can just keep rewinding and keep doing it. Um, if you wish to take on Skype, or video lessons with the Bedford School of Music. There's other tutors apart from me if, if you like the idea, but my personality is not for you, that's okay. Um, we've got lots of other tutors. Um, feel free to email us. This email will come across the screen at some point. Um, but otherwise it's tbsom at live.com. And you can check out everything else we do at www.thebedfordschoolofmusic.webs.com We take on students from all over the world via Skype and video calling. Um, we're located in New Zealand, if you're wondering what my accent is. Um, good luck and I hope we hear from you. We, we teach everything from drums, saxophone, piano, Vocals, guitar, songwriting, harmonica, um, lots of stuff. We're adding stuff all the time. Check out our website. Goodbye for, for now, but bear in mind if you wish to take vocal lessons with myself or any of the other tutors, our philosophy is that we're going to do what you want to do vocally. We might push you into certain things that will stretch you or tell you if you're trying things that are far too hard for you at this stage, but we can help you find backing tracks and send you backing tracks via Skype um, and Facebook video call. Um, good luck and I hope we hear from you. Adios.